Okay, so there seems to be a number of people who don't know what a jab lock is or how it works, so I decided to clear the air with this video. Jab locking, or simply locking, is a fundamental property that's present in a few of the Smash games. First off, how does a jab lock work? Well, in Smash 4, whenever your opponent goes into a tumbling animation and misses attack when they reach the ground, you have approximately 25 frames to hit them with a certain low knockback move, usually a jab or a tilt, which will force them to get up on the spot. That's right, meaning they cannot roll back, cannot roll forward, cannot get up attack, nor stay in a grounded position. The on-spot getup will happen at the end of the lock no matter what, giving you a free punish with almost anything you want. They'll be careful not to initiate the jab lock too late, or else it won't work. After the first hit, you'll be able to link a maximum of two more hits to extend the lock. Any more than that, the opponent will be able to escape. For example, with Mario, you can do three jabs, then a charged forward smash at the end to maximize damage. However, some characters might only be able to link one or two hits because their locking move makes the opponent slide too far away, or because the only move they can lock with is an aerial. Something else to keep in mind when initiating a jab lock is the opponent's percentage. Weaker lock moves will usually still work well over 100%, but stronger lock moves won't work after about 70-80%. to It really depends on how much knockback the move has. I'll leave a list of moves that have locking capabilities in the description, so check that out if you want to know. Now for the hard part, setting up a jab lock. Against skilled players, they will more than likely land their tech every time they see themselves tumbling to the ground. However, there are certain setups that give a much smaller window to tech that even a skilled player might not react fast enough. An example would be a move with weak horizontal knockback, like Pikachu's short hop Nair. Another good setup would be a character with aerials that have a meteor effect, like Fox's forward air. For levels with platforms, jab locking can come in very handy. In my True Combos video, I explained that when certain characters are hit on the platform such that they slide off, they will not be able to tech. The reason is because when sliding off, every character goes through this backwards falling animation. During this animation, teching is not possible. And of course, everything I've said applies on the 3DS version as well. Jab locking as a whole came into existence in Melee, though it was called the Jab Reset because you could only lock the person once. Characters like Jigglypuff could take huge advantage of this mechanic by Jab Resetting into Rest. In Brawl, the term became Jab Lock or just Lock because you could technically lock the opponent as many times as you want, usually across the stage. Well, that's all for today. I hope this tutorial cleared up any doubts or confusion some of you guys had. With that said, I'll see you soon. Which way to DI and execute double jump plus side B as fast as possible? If you aren't quick enough, the opponent will be able to air dodge or jump away.